This is Shane with That's It Guys, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the Logitech K400R wireless touchpad keyboard. I've put together a number of home theater PCs for myself, my family, and clients, and one thing that I've always been looking for is a decent wireless keyboard that doesn't really break the bank. Um, and I ended up finding the uh, Logitech K400R when I was building my home theater PC. Um, now Logitech, I've had, I've owned tons of their products, uh, keyboards, mice, controllers, everything, and I kind of expect them to have you know high quality products, so and last a long time. That's the other thing. The K400R is a wireless keyboard that has a touchpad and is priced under thirty dollars. So this caught my attention. I bought the K400R and got it connected within a few seconds. The device uses Logitech's unifying receiver, which means up to six compatible devices can run off of that one USB device with the software. The 400R has a 3.5 inch touchpad, good key spacing, and has a 10 meter range, 33 feet. The key presses are responsive and don't have much travel. The touchpad features the usual pinch zoom, two finger scrolling, and tap functions as you would expect. Below the touchpad is a left click and right click. The left click feels normal, but the right click has a snap feeling that feels a little bit out of place with the rest of the keyboard. The keyboard was actually designed to be held upright. Um, there's a left mouse click button where your thumb would rest on the left side of the keyboard which is great for browsing the internet using Steam Big Picture mode or a zoomed-in browser on your TV or projector. The 400R has many differences over the 400, but mostly related to key placement, as the 400R was made for Windows 8. The 400R adds a power button for putting the computer to sleep and waking it up, and then changes some of the other keys on here. And with this being a slim keyboard, some of the keys are behind a function key. There's also an assortment of keys catered to work with Windows 8, as you'll see on the top here. There's also back, play, pause, forward, mute, volume down, and volume up. In order to access function 1 through function 12, you have to hold down the function key. Scroll lock and print screen are behind insert and delete, respectively. Page up, page down, end, and home are behind the arrow keys, and the menu key is behind the right control. I've been using the Logitech K400R for the last six months, and it's been a solid wireless keyboard. I've only had the occasional delay when using this, and generally it's when not using it for a few minutes. Um, it uses two double A's to power it, but I've been using the included set since I've got it. So, and I've used this daily uh, to watch TV shows and browse the internet. I definitely recommend picking one of these up for your home theater. Um, it's a great buy for under thirty dollars, and it even works with most smart TVs as well as streaming boxes like the Fire TV. If you enjoyed this video or it helped you out, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit our website at that'sitguys.com. Thanks for watching.